This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, and the uh, unit I'm working on is Physical Computing, and the lesson is Analog Input, Change Event. The data event is fine if you don't mind your code running constantly, but sometimes that's not the most efficient solution to your problem. The sensor change event only fires if the sensor value has changed since the last reading. Uh, oh, okay, so instead of using data, okay. Um, which can make sure your program isn't running when it's not necessary. Cool, do this. Using the provided event handler, write a program that buzzes the buzzer and updates temp value whenever the temperature sensor reading changes. Place your thumb over the temperature sensor to get, uh, to get it to change to see how the program responds. All right, so using the provided event handler, that's this. So we're using change. Last time we had data here, and data changes constantly, every second, because it's checking again. Is there a difference? Is there a difference? Whereas change only responds when there is something actually new, as opposed to data that's always updating. Okay, so let's see. That means this is only going to run when there's an actual change in temperature, whereas if I put data here, data updates the temperature constantly, even if it's the exact same. So this would run a lot more. So we want the value over here. We're going to set that property to what is this the temp value to be text and then what text do we want well we're going to grab the fahrenheit drop that right here so now whenever this changes whenever there's an actual change in temperature it should update over there and then we also want the buzzer to buzz okay so where's my buzzer buzzer frequency and length. I'll leave it as the default. Let's give this a try. Oh. I think the lights are impacting it already, but let's do this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh keep going before I go nuts with all this buzzing. <laughs> 